This video is for Danny D and a few other people have been wondering about this gun so I finally got it Danny just brought it home today haven't shot it yet that's what I'm doing here got a Ruger LCP custom anybody who's been on my channel for a while you guys know I'm a real big fan of the Ruger LC9 and the LCP just a perfect little gun I mean there's a lot of good pocket guns now but I always like this one this is probably my fifth or sixth LCP maybe seventh I can't remember I've had a lot of them but when I saw they came out with this little custom guy here, I got it mainly only for the trigger and for the uh, stainless steel guide rod. I'm not too crazy about the sights yet, but I'm getting ready to uh, put some rounds down range here and, and uh, see. I'm messing around with the trigger and uh, load it up. I like the trigger a lot. It's a lot better than the original one. And I never had a problem with the, you know, a lot of you guys are prima donnas and every trigger's got to be perfect. And, you know, I like the LC9 trigger. I like the LCP trigger. It's all what you train with. I mean, it doesn't matter how long the trigger pull is and all that stuff. It's whatever you train with. You know, if you train with this little gun, throw three, 400 rounds down range, and then you do a lot of dry fire practicing, it doesn't matter what the uh, trigger pull is and all that stuff. Just as long as you practice with whatever you have, that's the most important thing. And uh, that's about it. So let's see how this baby shoots. Hey, what'd you get? You got something new today. What's that? Love it. What kind? This is Crazy Andrew, everybody. Right. Tool ammo, all steel case, crap ammo, got um, seven in there, six plus one in the chamber. I'm just shooting the random milk jugs out there. Got one, Jim. That's why, the, that's why I hate the steel ammo. Yeah, it happens, but it's cheap and it works. Good, that was a lot better. The first, uh, say first 20 were a little bit off, but uh, there's all the stuff we're shooting at. First 20 was a little bit off, but now it's starting to be dead on, so I think the gun just had to run through a little bit, or maybe the owner. All right, there's seven more rounds in the little LCP. Seven more rounds with the new LCP custom all tool ammo. Going for them. That's it. So far, running good, especially with this junk ass ammo. Looking good though. Should have loaded the winch or the Colt rather. Don't go through all my 45. That's the Colt, man. Much better. Not bad, but the question is, did you hit anything besides dirt? for the fucking... The fucking thing. fuck. Thank you, man. That back there is an original outhouse. That's where we go poopy and pee. This is how it is out here with hillbilly folk. I'm just a city boy. I'm still trying to get used to this. All right, got seven more rounds loaded up in the custom. And that target's approximately 15 yards out. Maybe a little more, maybe like 17 around 15, 17 yards out. So now that this thing has been broken in, I got one box of this tool ammo through. It just started in the second box. So let's see what kind of accuracy we can get out of it now.
Now walk down so you can see it. You can't even see it. Okay. Not bad for 15, around 15 to 17 yards. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Got that one flyaway one over there. Those are a pretty nice group. I think that's pretty good for the little 380. That's about about what you would want to get at around 15 yards. I think it looks like it's obviously a little bit to the left. That's probably me. We'll get more time behind the trigger and find out if it's me or if the gun needs to get sighted in a little bit better. I thought I was dead in the center, so I'm thinking it might be the sights that need to get adjusted a little bit. Those two in the top were from 12-gauge uh, slugs. Oh, All right, so LCP with the steel case ammo. We're going for them cans back there. And Justin's got the 1911 Rock Island Armory. We're going to go shot for shot. And them cans are about 15, same thing, 15, 17 yards away. You, can go, you want me to go first? You zoom, zoomed in on the cans? Good to go. For, I'm going for the top can, that one that's all the way up top there. Same can. Oh, nice. <laughs> that's not fair, man. You're using a 1911. All right, I'm going for the one that's laying down. So far, Justin's winning. He took out two cans in one shot. Almost three. That's a split bullet again. I knew I was going to get it. I had to take two. I'm sorry. Same thing, LC... Uh, what is this? LCP. Let's see what she got. 15, 15 to 17 yards. Grouping's good, it's just... You ever to get them all with this? Yeah, whatever ones you hit. <sighs> nice job, thanks. That's pretty good. Looks like they're all on the uh, sight and see target. A little high, a little left, but that's a small target. What's that, about an 8 inch? Or 6 inch? 6, huh? Let's see. Uh, oh, there's the sticker. Six inch. Cool, so that was just a little six inch, little shoot and see target, six inch plate at around 16 yards out. Looks like everything's on the plate. That's pretty good. I like it. For a little mouse gun, that's about as good as it gets at 16 yards. I've liked every LCP I've had. You know, some people complain about the trigger. I never minded the uh, the trigger on the original one, but this custom trigger is what they call it on this one. It's a lot nicer, and I, I like the original one, but this one is is really nice too. Uh, it definitely makes a difference. It's a little bit shorter. Don't expect a huge difference. It's not going to make it feel like a striker fired gun, but it's definitely a lot better than the original trigger. About half is half as long. And uh, it's definitely tighter. It doesn't wiggle around like the original one. The original one would wiggle around a little bit. You going for the top? Yeah, I went for the top. What else do we want to do? Can I bring another box of nine down with me?